Cowboys. Top of I'm a living large. Need the Cowboys to have a rebirth. Need them to have a rebirth. There's a big difference between two and two and one and three. One makes you feel like there's still a possibility. One makes you feel like things are really going the wrong way. As the Cowboys get set to face the Lions at home this Sunday, their emotional leader on defense, Sean Lee, will miss the game with a hamstring injury. Rookie Leighton Van Der Esch will likely make his first NFL start. Lee spoke about another year where playing a full season is a dream that won't come true. It's extremely tough. There's times where it's, it's very depressing. Um, a lot of times you look back and there's a lot of games that I regret missing. Uh, a lot of time that I feel like I've lost. Um, but if I focus, if I did focus on that in the past, I wouldn't be in the league still. I wouldn't be playing still. And I keep reminding myself that you, ha you know you have this unbelievable opportunity ahead of you. You have these great teammates. Don't allow this frustration to take over you and ruin that opportunity. So some days are harder than others, but I keep focused on it. And I'm going to come back and be all right. That's how we like the roll. Glass half full. Don't miss Cowboys game day. Sunday morning at 1030 with Hall of Famer Randy White and Bill Jones. And yours truly from AT&T Stadium. We'll be in the end zone where the Cowboys can hopefully score a lot. The SMU Mustangs also have some big plans this weekend. Using a two-point conversion to get their first win by a single point last week against Navy. SMU will try to make it two in a row when they host Houston Baptist tomorrow. Coach Sonny Dykes says he sees his team changing before his eyes. You know, they're starting to gain some confidence. I, I really believe that that's probably what's happening as much as anything else. Just where guys start to, to say, okay, I, I understand the process. I get it. You know, I, I understand I have to go through it. You know, we've really tried to emphasize the importance of practice and, and practicing well. And, and I think those type of things are, are starting to set in, you hope. A Ryder Cup with Tiger coming off his first victory in five years. It was supposed to be a glorious week for the U.S. and Paris. Day one of the Ryder Cup, Jordan Spieth was on fire in his morning four ball match and helped carry the U.S. to a 3-1 lead over the Europeans. But that's when things get ugly. For the first time since 89, the European team sweeps an entire session going 4-0 in the afternoon foursomes. The U.S. trails 5-3, headed to day number two. It's significant, but it's a small percentage of the points that we're going to play for this week. And right now we're two points down with 20 left. Um, there's time. So uh, we need to, uh, need to talk a little bit as a team tonight. I think uh, hopefully come out tomorrow and rally. Need 14 and a half total to claim victory. I'm Keith Russell. That's a look at Sports More News on the way.